How to use Veed Video Editor, the best free online video editor. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Veed. As someone that is not looking for complicated video features, you can find a really easy to use video editor online. You don't have to download a large application that can hog up space in your storage and not have the features be non-accessible to you due to a really complicated UI and interface. Veed knows all of the perks and benefits of keeping everything at your fingertips and it can help you in getting started. So let's get into it. Now, the best part about Veed is that it is available for free and with the free version, you have a one gigabyte upload limit and 20 gigabytes of storage that is going to be provided. So it is recommended that you upgrade to the basic or pro plans if you want to store your videos on Veed as well. Now to get started, simply click on sign up on the top right and you can sign up with your email address, Google, Apple, or Microsoft. So I'm going to sign up with Google over here and click on my Google account that I want to use for my sign up process. Once I click on continue over here, I will be led to my Veed dashboard. Now I have a few different videos that I have edited in the past, but let's get started with a new project on Veed. Now to get started, you will see on the left, you have a template section. In the template section, they have a few different video templates that you can use. This can be a great way for you to get started with your own personal branding and you can really build content that is reflective of your images or of your products or of your services. However, if you're someone that really wants to get started from the bare bones, then you can go into home. And then once you do that, you can click on create project. Once you click on create project, you can build your first project on Veed. You will see it will still suggest some templates that you can use as well as AI avatars. And you also have the template options where you have these ad based templates as well. But I'm gonna start with a blank project and I will upload my own file on Veed. So I'm going to be using this little file over here and I wanna convert this into something like a ad. So once I have this, you will see the size on the left. Now I want to convert this into a YouTube size, which is a 16 by nine, but my original size is also 16 by nine. So it really doesn't make a difference. You also have the option to resize for social media where you are going to be able to create different versions of your video while you have edited it. So a edited version, which has a shorter version for your video. Now behind that, we have the color options for our background as well as audio and duration. Now after that, we have the frames per second and these are just the basic settings. Now, once we have completed that, we can click on the video that we have just inserted in our frame. And on the left, you will have the options of the speed of the video, then the volume, then you have some magic tools as well as the opacity, rotation, and you can detach the audio as well. I don't have any audio in this video, so I don't have to do that. And then you can click on adjust video. From here, you have the basic adjustment tools of brightness, contrast, exposure, as well as hues and saturations, which you can alter. Now, I'm not gonna alter too much in this because I want to keep my video pretty much similar to what I had created. And then you have the saturation. Let's say I want to make it slightly more saturated. And then I have the effects to sharpen, add noise, blur, vignette as well. Once I've edited the basic colors or the basic color scaling, I can click on the video and below it, if you have to trim a certain part of the video that is in the mid section of your video. So let's say I want to cut out the part where this person, you know, leaves the pizza and looks up. I want it to directly be from chewing to just looking up from here. Now, what I can do to do that is I can move my preview bar on the bottom to that particular section. Once I have done that, I can click on split. Once I've split it, I can move it to the next frame that I want to display, not the chewing part, just the laughing part. And once I've done that, I can click on split once more. Now, taking this particular section, I can do a right click and click on delete. This will delete the section and now I have a different continuation of my video, like this. Now, if you want to undo any changes that you made, you can click on the top right to undo any of the changes and you will be led back to the original version of your video. Now, once we have added our basic video, let's say I want to add a few cuts where I just want to add a few different animations into the same video. So I can just split it at different sections. 
and once I split it, I can click on animations and I can add different animations or transitions. Now I have dissolve transitions, white fade, cross blur. I have a few different transitions and I want a wrap transition. Now let's take a look at what that is going to look like. Now it's not going to be appearing between these sections. So because these are identical sections, I think I should add a bit more of a animation impact. I think I actually like the burns in effect. So I can add that animation to that section like this. So once we've done that, let's say I want to add some text. I can click on the left over here to start adding some text. Let's say I want to add this text over here. And this is a template based text. You can add simple text and build your own styles. So the best pizza in town. And I am going to change the font size. This is a bit too large. I'm going to convert this from 180 pixels to a little smaller around 96, or you can just select the text and resize it from here as well. You can even animate the text as well as add different styles to the text, such as backgrounds, but I don't want to do that. I want to just animate this. I'll click on the text and click on animations on the left. And I want to add a rise, pop, drop. We have a few different animations. And I really want this to be looking like a retro ad. So I'm going to place this text only at the part where it zooms into the girl's face. You will see on the bottom left, you have the previews of if you are aligning this perfectly. So this has been aligned perfectly with this section of our video. Now let's preview our text once more. And after that, let's say I want to add some more elements. So I can go into elements on the left and I can add. Maybe I want to add, you know, a meme so I can go into GIFs and I can search for a GIF. We have different types of GIFs available. So let's say I have this one over here, which is maybe I want to add happy like this or I have meme. Let's say I want to search for meme based templates. So we have a few different templates available and what I'm going to do, I'm going to add happy at like this. I can insert this one over here. I'm not gonna keep the person one, I just want the cat one. I'm going to move it towards the left right after my text section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this GIF, place it on the bottom, and then decrease the time like this. And then after this, I want to add some more text, which might be the brand name that we have. So I can add that again. And then we have, let's say this is going to be John's Pizza. And then I want to add some animations to this like this and then i'm going to actually redo this over and over again so it like flashes again and again so you can copy that and then place it ahead like this and you know add different animations dawn's pizza and once we've done that i'm just going to place it right beside each other like this and then clicking on the animations let's see the one we have dawn's pizza and then again dawn's pizza like this and once we've done that let's take a look at our funny vintage little ad like this. So in this way, you can really edit videos however you want on Vite.io. And once you have completed your video editing, you can click on done on top right and click on export video to export your videos and download them and start using them for social media and many other reasons. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.